not come out another adventure, but I have a teeny tiny small little video. It's so cute and tiny and small. So, uh, it's, we're building for the Warthogs. It's just a tiny little enclosure. It's, well, it's not tiny, but it's not big. Um, it fills in a nice little area and it's it's just that it's just a warhawk enclosure <laughs> i just felt like building for these guys i don't know why i just i woke up feeling wart hoggy <laughs> that's a sentence i didn't think i was ever gonna say but here i am um yeah we're building for the warhawks this is in our base game zoo and if you've never seen any of the videos we are only building using the base game pieces and our goal is to build for all of the base game animals um and yeah, as always, if you catch me build with something that is from a DLC, please let me know. Please, please, please let me know. Don't feel weird about it. It's not like I'm upset because I didn't get the challenge right. It's just that it's very, very hard to um, like scrap the, the DLC pieces from your mind, especially the ones that you've had in your game forever. You kind of think they're base game, but they're not. Um, and so it's, it, it can be hard to... Uh, to, like you can always substitute anything with the base game pieces I feel like and this is really what this series is about like the base game is just amazing and I oftentimes feel like you don't need the DLCs necessarily to have fun and to build cool things and this is what this series is about but they're still like in the back of your mind and you still kind of resort to using them uh, for me it's definitely the aquatic rocks uh, you don't know how many aquatic rocks I've been deleting from this zoo again because I was like ah they're not from the base game I can't use them um, and so yeah if you catch me build something that isn't from the base game please let me know and um, I also I'm still debating on whether or not I want to include the um, deluxe pack animals into this or not maybe I'll put them to the side so someone without the D the deluxe DLC could technically still get it so we have two versions of this a deluxe and a normal base game park I don't know we will see but um I just yeah so that is what this is about I don't know why I wanted to build for the Warthogs it just it just came to mind um but there's a reason that we're not continuing the bear trail today is because I feel like I should sort of work the area entirely around the bear path first and the reason being is that I think without the size restriction that an around area gives me I'm just it's kind of getting unrealistic so my issue with the grizzly bears was I loved it I it's a very cool enclosure but I feel like looking at it now it's pretty big which is good for the bears but we are like this zoo kind of is more of a like medium um budget city zoo right so somewhat older uh they're not like scrapping together the money but they're also not like doing big new projects here everywhere right so i was gonna i'm gonna say because i really like the the bear trail and i don't want to change it um the bear trail is probably a newer project um but i think we kind of have to situate it more with everything around it to make it feel like it makes sense um and that is what i'm gonna work on next and it's also i think nicer for me to kind of get into other animals because uh I mean, I have been building three different three different bears all at once, and then I kind of just, you know had a, a little break in there when I built a, a fries uh, a thing for for buying fries. What is it called? A food stall, and uh, but that's not really that didn't catch me enough of a break. I felt like so. Um, yeah, the warthogs did though. This is fun. I I think that a lot of times the um, hoofed animals aren't as much fun to build for because they don't climb and oftentimes they don't swim and so I feel like they often feel as though they're just like standing on a patch of grass but I really like this one I feel like for, with this one it's definitely where it is situated it's this like, like curved path and um it's just very nice. I think it's 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 one of those uh, enclosures that really make it feel more realistic just for being there, for being uh, not crazy, you know? <laughs> uh, and, you know, realistically, in a zoo, not every enclosure is going to be 
crazy and I just felt like doing this one um, as a non-crazy one. <laughs> um, we are building a little bit of a shed there uh, or a stable I guess. Um, it's not crazy. I think I gotta say like when building the aquatic rocks really are missing but with anything detail work absolutely conservation pack is missing because whew, it's hard to go back to not having those those backstage pieces right um but i mean we managed don't worry but <laughs> but it's not it's definitely not very detailed i think uh i may if i feel like it so maybe not but if i for some reason wake up in the morning feeling like Paige, I'm, I'm not gonna do that, but uh, if I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I really feel like adding, um, adding, uh, what is it called? Conservation pack pieces to my base game park. I will do that and that will be another version. So if you have the, uh, the con I don't know, I, I, I always have to think about the name, the conservation pack, uh, you can download it with the conservation pieces in it. And if you don't, you don't. Um, so kind of make different versions of it for different people because not everyone has the same not everyone will have the same DLCs not everyone wants to get all the DLCs and I figured I just thought it would be cool that someone who doesn't have all the DLCs could still tour uh, zoos you know um, that don't have all the DLCs in them which is basically kind of was the idea behind this but now it's really gotten to uh, uh, more of a base game appreciation zoo i guess but um either way it's a lot of fun too i i, I kind of like these sort of sort of restrictions and challenges um and so i really kind of want to do more of that i have some ideas for like challenges so if you i don't know why i felt like saying you or anyone you know i mean i guess if if you know someone but if you feel like um doing a chat like being given a challenge sort of thing if that is something that you find cool i would love that because i used to love the challenges for the sims um and so i i feel like that would that could be cool and some of the sims challenges could definitely be brought over into uh planet zoo and i still i like i said i also have two ish ideas for challenges myself so if you think that would be cool i mean i'm probably gonna do it anyway just for myself but um just if that's something where you're like oh that sounds fun please do it faster or like prioritize it i can definitely do that um otherwise i'll probably just kind of wait but uh if you i mean there's also the thing that i said i was gonna do for all the milestones and i still intend on doing it because it was very much fun the first time uh is doing a color palette challenge so where a random generator gives me a color palette and i have to come up with a build according to that color challenge Col color palette <laughs> and uh, that was so much fun so this is almost the like you know uh, that would be the coolest you know with the uh I don't know. I don't know what I wanted to say. I, my brain just like was like, doo -doo -doo -doo, like Windows XP sound, you know. Um, but uh, anyway, so I would love to do challenges. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and I, I really like these type of restrictions. Uh, they kind of get me get my creativity flowing more. Not always. I don't always want to be restricted. Um, but sometimes I think they can be fun and they can kind of reframe how you do things and build things like I said I never really gotten um I never really built without the aquatic rocks so you know finding out that you don't have to have them uh in like the zoo was really fun and I just I think that there's probably um more you know fun things to be done when restricting other ways you know challenging myself i don't know i like this kind of stuff it's really hard to explain um but we're almost done with this video uh so i will see you in the real time part thank you so much for watching so far so one thing i absolutely forgot to mention was how much i like the logs i definitely want to reuse them for other exhibits around here 
Um, but yeah, I think that's really, it looks really cool and it looks very like city zoo-ish to block the view to the back, but still have it a bit natural, you know? So I really like this and, um, yeah. So, I mean, let's, that's, uh, before the guests are storming this, <laughs> let's actually, oh, trash, great. Um, let's, uh, let's go here. I quite like this. I think it looks very, uh, like I said, like mid to somewhat low financed uh, city zoo, which is exactly what I was going for. I really like how the mud pool blends in. Uh, I've said it before, I, the mud pool is probably my favorite enrichment item. Uh, every animal that has an animation with it, just, oh my god, oh my god, thank you so much is it gonna do it it's always a cute animation come on come on yes yes ah uh, i think it's just like oh, yes it's doing it oh my god i love that it's the funniest animation it's the best thank you so much so much that's been the best best thing you could have done and the perfect timing too that is this warthog is a superstar you sir or ma'am i'm not sure sir absolutely best warthog ever so yeah we didn't really look at anything but this warthog because it's the best it's really cool how it's going through here uh, by the way, like, through this, I didn't notice that they could traverse this, like, um, bush here. That's great. So, also, this is obviously kind of useless for the warthogs, but I still think it kind of looked cool. It kind of drove home the point that this is more of a savannah-ish place. And, yeah, they also really like playing with this box. Um... I just in the back there I saw them run into it like three times already and when I put them in the first thing they did was like slam into this box so um yeah let's take a quick look here um is that from the South America pack I'll check that in a second but um so yeah like I said it's really missing some backstage stuff uh with the oh I want to change that that bothers me It's uh, really missing some of the... Oh, what is going on? It's really missing some of the backstage stuff from the conservation pack, but um, I think you can still make decent enough backstage areas. Um, and then here we have another warthog. Hey there. Did you did you use the mud bath already? Is Are you... Because that's very good. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, we have some old, like boxes here nothing fancy nothing special um again this suit doesn't have a big emphasis on the interiors and like the backstage area so uh, yeah did you know you could recolor these i had no idea i mean i had an idea but i keep forgetting that you can but you can in case you never noticed that you can recolor these <laughs> um but yeah let's actually climb back out which let's hope the warthogs can um but yeah, so in the next few episodes, we're kind of going to make our way around here, basically. So this will be filled up, and then we kind of walk around here. Or work around here, rather. Um, not sure if we'll do the entire thing, but I just want to get like a feel for it. We also kind of have to uh, look that this is the, the, pa the um, map border, so that's where we kind of have to... Uh, you know, make sure that we have an eye on that, and I think in all other directions we're still doing good, but yeah, that one is kind of getting close. So, um, yeah, 
that's what we're gonna continue doing. But for now, let's take a last look at our Kilo Warthogs. I'm so glad that I built for these guys. I really like how this turned out. So let me know what you think. And I hope to see you around for another video and for the, the journey around the bear path. And uh, yeah, bye.